Detail groups in Revit Architecture allow you to collect and distribute elements created from any of the tools on the Annotate ribbon bar. Let's explore a use which involves creating assembled details to place in our section and drafting views. Switch to the section view under Section Detail Section at Ground Floor. From the Annotate tab, click on Create Group under the Detailed Group tab. Be sure to specify that this is a detail group and give it a name. I'll call this Detail Foundation Sill. You can click the Add button from the contextual ribbon bar and select the individual detail elements to add to this group. Notice that the model elements are grayed out so that you can easily identify the detail components. Be sure to add the wood sections as well as the foundation stem wall. There's a special trick for selecting individual elements such as the flashing lines here. Rather than picking them one by one, we'll click Finish Group. Then, we'll simply pick a window around all of the flashing. Cut to clipboard from the Modify ribbon. Then, select our group again and click Edit Group from the Detail Groups contextual ribbon. Now simply switch back to the Modify ribbon bar and choose Paste Aligned to Same Place. Click the Add button to see that all of those lines are added. In fact, we actually missed one small segment here at the edge of our slab. So I'll click that to add. When everything's gray, just click Finish. Now you'll notice that if we select the group, there's an origin point which is sort of randomly placed. We can pick that and move it to the appropriate location. So we'll pick its origin, move it off to the side, and then simply pick the front exterior corner of the foundation slab. When placing other instances of this group, it'll be really easy to find that insertion point because that will be the primary snap. You'll notice that the detail now shows up under Groups detail in the project browser. We can easily switch to other detail views of our model or drafting views and place this new group. By naming your groups with care, you can compose construction details very quickly using combinations of pre-assembled detail groups. You could enhance these detail groups by also including keynotes, text with leaders, and other types of annotation symbology. Remember that you have the ability to exclude instances where there are slight variations in your construction details. By using this methodology for creating details, you can start from large-scale details with all the visible components. You can then Select just the components that you wish to use at a smaller scale, such as a wall section. Create a detail group and place instances in your wall section. I have examples of that here under the Sections Wall Sections folder in the Project Browser where I've already composed just the amount of detail that I wish to convey by using groups.